please remain standing for the national anthem led by Dr. Thaddeus Bourne and the invocation that follows offered by Ms. Bailey Bennett. We invite and encourage you to join Dr. Bourne in the singing of our national anthem. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the never failing love and grace you constantly show us. Glory be to you, Lord, for the success of these graduates. Thank you for keeping your hand of protection over each of these individuals during their time at Troy University. I pray you continue lighting their personal and professional paths upon graduation. While we are sad to see these graduates' time at Troy University close, we are eager to hear of the triumphs they will be blessed with in the future. Thank you for each life and family that is represented by these soon-to-be graduates, and thank you for the impact you have allowed these individuals to have on our lovely campus. We love and praise you endlessly. Amen. You may be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce our Chancellor. For over three decades of leadership, Dr. Hawkins has led Troy University throughout an era of unprecedented progress. The university now offers doctoral degrees in nursing, sport management, and global leadership. Our intercollegiate athletics moved to the highest level of NCAA competition. More than $300 million of investment has been made in campus construction across our three Alabama campuses to include this beautiful arena and Troy has made the transition into an international university, enrolling students from 76 nations around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our Chancellor, Dr. Jack Hawkins, Jr. Thank you, uh, thank you Dr. Tatum, and thank you for leading us academically uh, for a very good year. And, to everyone here, on behalf of our Board of Trustees, it's my honor to welcome you to a, a day we consider to be the most important day of the year at Troy. And I probably, if I asked for an amen, I'd hear one on that one. <laughs> but these, uh, I hope, have been among your best years. But you're all Trojans, and as you go forth, forth to make a difference, I want you to remember your roots. <laughs> That's a Trojan in the making. <laughs> <laughs> Today we uh, will graduate almost a thousand students. They come to us from 30 different states and 17 different countries, and we're proud of each one of you. It's my honor to introduce to you the stage party and, and special guest. I would ask them to stand and remain standing. All of you are special. I'll just introduce a few and uh, we can recognize them as a group. So please hold your applause until they've all stood. Our trust Board of Trustees, a great group of, uh, of trustees, including recently uh, 
Vice President Pro Tem, the Honorable General Ed Crowell, the former President Pro Tem of our board and a distinguished Senate member, member of the legislature for many, many years, Senator Gerald Dow, a gentleman who this July will celebrate his 101st birthday. And what a great trustee he is. <laughs> And I might add a, a Marine of World War II vintage, and so he knows freedom is not free. <laughs> he is Mr. Roy Drinkard from Coleman, Alabama. And uh, I am so proud of this next trustee because he was just confirmed by the Alabama State Senate yesterday. But going back in time, I remember when he was twice elected and did an outstanding job as the SGA president. Senator Cam Ward. Cam, congratulations. <laughs> Our speaker, and I'll introduce, uh, I'll introduce Pastor Hodges a bit more in detail in just a moment, but I wanted him to stand so you could see him. Uh, Bailey Bennett, thank you, Bailey, for uh, your presence today and that beautiful invocation. She is from Eufaula. Proud of our administrative leadership to include Dr. Lance Tatum, the Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Deans, Dr. Larry Blocker, the College of Communication and Fine Arts, Dr. Kerry Palmer, the College of Education, and Dr. Jay Garner, who is the Interim Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. Other members of our platform party include Captain Jacob White, Army ROTC, Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Cox, Air Force ROTC, Mr. Maxwell George, recently elected president of our Student Government Association, and Dr. Ed Papanastas, who is the recipient of the Wallace D. Malone Distinguished Faculty Award, and uh, he has the distinction of carrying the university mace in this ceremony. We have so many special guests. I wanted to recognize those who have accompanied Pastor Hodges here. Uh, Michael, his son, Johnny, his son, and Grace Hodges, daughter-in-law, uh, the Executive Vice President for Highlands College, Ms. Gina Cox, and uh, locally here, we're so proud, too, of Blake Cotter, Pastor Blake Cotter, Church of the Highlands, and his wife, Savannah, and I'm certainly proud of my First Lady, Ms. Janice Hawkins. Would you join me in saying thank you to the, all these people for being here? Thank you. I'd be remiss if I didn't call attention to uh, a very important program that has developed here over the last quarter century, and that is the Sino-American Dual Degree Program, where students come to us from China uh, after a year of study there with a partner university, and they spend two years here and then return to China. And we have several represented uh, by just three of our, our uh, classmates. Uh, who are returning to China within the next few days. Would you please stand and let us say thank you for your American presence and continue to be good Trojans when you return to China. Thank you. I, I hope all of you, and sometimes I hear people at this time of the year say thank you for reminding me. It's Mother's Day Sunday. You know, don't forget it. <laughs> and I'm not going to forget it. <laughs> it's, uh, it reminds us, too, of the importance of family at Troy University and, indeed, family values. That's, we subscribe to uh, the belief in families here. And I want to ask our families that have joined us, members of our families of the graduates, to please stand up and let these students who are graduating say thank you for your love your support, and maybe even your financial investment. So if you're a family member, please stand up. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the, in the room. May is also another important month because it's National Military Appreciation Month recognizing those people who pay a dear price so that the rest of us can remain free in this great country. 
We uh, have a rich history at Troy of serving the military, and in fact, uh, approximately a third of our 18 or so thousand, 20,000 students are military connected. So the military uh, is a very important part, not only of this country, but of also Troy University. I would like to ask the veterans, those in the military, and the spouses uh, of those veterans and active duty military members to please stand up and let us say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And to the class of 2021, all of you will be called on to make a difference. You noticed the focus on leadership in that brief ad that you just witnessed. That's what this university is committed to, growing the next generation of leaders because those communities that embrace you need you. They need your strong leadership based on integrity, ability, and vision. I think you're prepared to do that, and simply I would remind you of the words of Mother Teresa when she said, everyone can do something. Whether it's leading a family or the PTA or an organization or whatever it may be, all of us can make a difference, but we have to get in the game. So we challenge you to do that. And it's an honor to welcome you to our alumni family, which currently numbers about 165,000 worldwide. And they're located in every clime and place around the globe. So on behalf of the National Alumni Association, I come to you bearing gifts. And that is one year's free membership in our National Alumni Association. But they've asked me to emphasize one year. <laughs> we want you to be engaged because the value of your degree will either increase or decrease in time. And it's our charge to add value to the degree every day that we're engaged here. But we can't do that without your involvement. So send us good students, visit. Help, help those who need not a handout, but a helping hand when you get out there and making a difference in the world. I congratulate you. I'm proud of you, and I'm also proud to be able to introduce our speaker this morning. He's a gentleman I, I learned earlier today as we stood for those photographs that were on the screen that probably needs no introduction. Most of the students who came uh, up for photographs actually knew him or knew of him. And he is a man who is making a difference. Chris Hodges, he's founder and senior pastor of the Church of the Highlands, and that's based in Birmingham, and it's only existed for 20 years. In fact, they celebrate their 20th anniversary this year. It's a powerful ministry. It offers more than 70 different worship services each weekend at 23 different locations and the ministry uh, serves over 60,000 people. And that's occurred just within two decades. Troy is very proud to serve as a host of the Church of the Highlands uh, with Pastor Blake Cotter being in charge of that ministry. They meet every week in the Claudia Crosby Theater Sunday mornings. But Pastor Chris is also Chancellor of Highlands College that's a two-year accredited ministry training college in Birmingham that's getting off the ground, and it'll have a powerful impact. But perhaps most impressive, Pastor Chris co-founded the Association of Related Churches in 2001, which is responsible for starting over 940 different churches across the U.S. over the past 20 years. Amazing. He's a best-selling author, and his books, What's Next and Fresh Air, are used to train church leaders, not only in the U.S., but throughout Europe, Australia, and Asia, where he goes on occasion to help others. He's a native of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I had the good fun earlier of reminding him that that was the site of one of our biggest wins in football history. <laughs> <laughs> he earned a degree in management from Colorado Christian University and a Master of Ministry degree from Southwest Christian University. He and his wonderful wife, Tammy, they have five children and six grandchildren. Please uh, join me in welcoming one of America's foremost preachers, 
a great friend of Troy University and our honored speaker, Pastor Chris Hodges. Oh, kind of excited to hear myself speak after that. That's awesome. It's good to see you guys today. And uh, thank you, Chancellor Hawkins, for that gracious introduction. Uh, I'm truly honored to deliver this year's commencement address here at Troy University. And I want to say congratulations to the Board of Trustees, the faculty, the parents, families, uh, honored guests, and especially, come on everybody, the graduates of 2021. And come on, give them a great hand, everybody. You made it. And after a year like 2020, I'm sure some of you might have wondered if this moment was ever going to happen. But here we are together on this special day to celebrate this incredible milestone in your lives. And standing here and celebrating with you, I can't help but reflect uh, on my own college experience at LSU. And yes, Dr. Hawkins was quick to point out that uh, Troy beat LSU in 2017 and got paid a million dollars to do it. And <laughs> that one still hurts, but uh, let me tip my cap to all of you and say, go Trojans, everybody. All right. But one of the funny stories about my time in college is, is that the only class I failed while I was there was my speech class. <laughs> because I was so afraid to get in front of people. It's true. If my professor could only see me now, right? But I'm sure when you think about your time here at Troy, you've had your own share of ups and downs just like I did. But that's what makes this day so significant because you endured and you overcame. And today you're marking the completion of a major chapter in your life, a chapter marked by victory and defeat, struggle and joy, a chapter filled with memories, like moving away from home, uh, stepping onto campus for the first time, hanging out on the quad, cheering on the Trojans, meeting a, a, a good friend and having trips to Sips on the Square. I did my research, everybody. But also you guys get to add to the list enduring a global pandemic. You've come a long way and so much is behind you, yet most of the book of your life is still filled with blank pages. You have so much of your life to live. And as you step into the next chapter of your life, you probably have some goals for what's next. And while yours may be different from the person next to you or your best friend or your roommate, I know one thing for sure, and that is that we all want to live fulfilled lives and we want to find true happiness. And I believe that kind of happiness only happens for us when we're grounded by something other than the next big purchase or new job or great vacation. And I say this not just because I'm a pastor and that's what I'm supposed to say. I tell you this because of my own journey. I really wasn't kidding about failing uh, that speech class at LSU, which is actually pretty embarrassing since they don't even speak English in South Louisiana. But uh, I, was, uh, <laughs> I was an accounting major following in my dad's footsteps because honestly, I really didn't know what else to do. And add to that, throughout my junior high, high school, and college years, I struggled with inferiority, and I'm not kidding when I say that. It was, it, was at, it was at a level that was so bad that I battled with depression, had panic attacks, I had I struggled with anxiety, and it wasn't counseling or medication that got me through it, although for many that is what needs to happen. It was finding real meaning and purpose for my life that pulled me out of the, the disorienting dark cave of confusion. And after more than 38 years of trying to help people come out of that cave of depression and meaninglessness, I've actually decided to write about it in a book that's releasing later this month. During my research for the book, probably my favorite part of the research of that book, I, just, I, I discovered and studied the life of a man named Viktor Frankl. Uh, you may have heard of him because he wrote a bestseller called Man's Search for Meaning. Frankl was a Jewish psychiatrist in Austria when World War II started. He was imprisoned in a concentration camp and suffered the unimaginable, right? His, his wife, father, mother, younger brother, all died in the Holocaust. And you can only imagine the trauma that he personally experienced. But after the war, Viktor Frankl resumed his psychiatric counseling practice using a theory he had developed that he called logotherapy. And this, this, 
this theory that he developed had several things that were uh, interesting in it. He, he told them that they needed to find some type of meaning for their life, to discover real meaning, find meaningful work, and to do it with a community of friends. He actually stood in stark contrast to Sigmund Freud's theory, who Sigmund Freud actually taught that life was all about pleasure. And Frankl said, no, if you don't have meaning in your life, you dull your life with pleasures. Frankl focused uh, on suicidal patients in Vienna, many of whom who have survived Nazi concentra uh, concentration camps and saw their loved ones die. And Frankl treated them by focusing on these three components of logotherapy, challenging them to find meaningful work, doing something that matters, finding a community of friends to do it with, and he encouraged his patients to take whatever suffering they had experienced and to find something positive from it to help others. And not a single patient under his care ever committed suicide. Of course, Viktor Frankl wasn't the only proponent of finding happiness through having a purposeful life. And I'm sure you remember at some point studying the psychologist named Abraham Maslow. Maslow was trying to understand why people act the way they do. He wanted to know what motivates behavior. And in his paper, A Theory of Human Motivation, he concluded that the needs of people ultimately determine their behaviors. And when those needs are not met, people are motivated to meet them. He discovered that every human seeks and looks for meaning in life by pursuing what he calls a hierarchy of needs. What's interesting is, is that Maslow thought the highest need that could be met in the human heart was what he called self-actualization, which basically means you're happy when you win. So you get that job, you marry that person, you make that money, that just you win, right? But the more Maslow and psychologists after him studied what makes people tick, watch this, they discovered that self-actualization wasn't the highest need that could be met in the human heart. They found something higher. And as they researched and interviewed thousands of different people, they realized that people needed more than winning and achieving all their dreams. They discovered that there was more to life than making lots of money or becoming famous on social media. It was when people live their lives in such a way that life makes a difference in the life of someone else. So they've actually expanded Maslow's hierarchy of needs from five to eight, and now they call the highest need that can be met transcendence. Transcendence ultimately means that we have a need to live beyond ourselves and to make a difference, to exercise compassion, sympathy, and caring to serve others who are in need, to use our resources and to solve problems, to find remedies, to improve the lives of others. And not because we feel obligated to, but because we want to, because it's what we were made to do. In fact, just recently, the Wall Street Journal published an article where they discovered what they called that the fact that people are hardwired for generosity, that when we're generous, chemicals are released in the brain that bring real pleasure. You know what that means? It means that every single one of you in this room today were made to make a difference. It means that real joy doesn't come from making money or having lots of pleasure or possessing a lot of things. That real joy comes from knowing that your life has meaning. You know, sometimes people ask me about the secret to um, our growth and success at Church of the Highlands. And of course, as a person of faith, I tell them that I believe God helped us and we really don't deserve any of the credit or praise. And by the way, I truly believe that. But also tell them what I'll share with you, that what we do is we help people discover their purpose and then we focus them in a direction that allows them to use their gifts and passions to serve people around us. We've literally raised up tens of thousands of volunteers that we call the dream team, who, have, or who really are having the time of their life, using their life to impact the lives of others for the good. So instead of guilting people into serving and volunteering, that's what I experienced kind of growing up in church, we help them find what they were created to do. The same secret of success applies to every single one of you. Looking ahead, don't do what you feel obligated to do, what everybody else pressures you to do. Discover what you care about most and live your life in such a way where it impacts the lives of others for the good. As Mother Teresa says, a life not lived for others is not a life. Now, I'm not here to convince you to live your life for a greater purpose. I'm here to remind you that this most essential need is already inside of you. So as you make plans, set goals, begin careers, don't overlook what you can do that no one else can. Don't forget what will ultimately make you happy. 
You have so many chapters ahead of you, but all of them rely on how you use everything you've been given here at Troy, including this incredible education, to make a difference. That's what this depressed accounting major from LSU who failed his speech class discovered. And it's my greatest hope for you that no matter what you've been through, advantages or setbacks, awards or failures, goals met or secrets kept, you have the freedom to choose how you write the next chapter of your life. But remember this, you are made for more than you realize. You are made to make a difference and to leave your mark. And today begins that journey to true fulfillment. I'm pulling for you. I believe in you, and I'm cheering you on. A hurting world is waiting. Let's go. Congratulations, and may God bless you. Mr. Hodges, what a powerful testimony and great advice. Life is all about relationships. And the older I get, the more I realize the importance of relationships. It's not about a financial portfolio, it's about a portfolio of lives touched. And that's what I heard Pastor Chris say. Please join me in saying thank you to this remarkable man one more time. Today is a celebration for each of our graduates and their families, and the level of excitement and pride is understandable. But before we proceed to the awarding of the degrees, may I ask your help in three ways. First, please remain in your seats to take photographs of your graduates in order that everyone may see. Second, please moderate in your applause and celebration as graduates cross the stage. And third, please remain in your seats until the graduation ceremony is concluded. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree please rise? Dr. Hawkins, these candidates have completed all the requirements of the bachelor's degree, and on behalf of the faculty, I recommend that the degree be conferred. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and approval by the Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the laws of the State of Alabama, it's indeed a pleasure for me to confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree which you have earned. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Please change your tassels from the right side to the left side of your caps and be seated. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise? Dr. Hawkins, these candidates have completed all the requirements of the master's degree, and on behalf of the graduate faculty, I recommend that the degree be conferred. Upon the recommendation of the graduate faculty and approval by the Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Troy University and the laws of the state of Alabama, it's a real pleasure for me to confer upon each of you the master's degree which you have earned. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Please change your tassels from the right side to the left side of your caps, and you may be seated. Will the candidate for the education specialist degree please rise? Dr. Hawkins. This candidate has completed all the requirements for the Education Specialist degree, and on behalf of the graduate faculty, I recommend that the degree be conferred. On the recommendation of the graduate faculty and approval by the Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Troy University and the laws of the state of Alabama, it's indeed my pleasure to confer upon you the Educational Specialist degree. Congratulations. Will the candidates for the doctorate degree please rise? Applause 
Dr. Hawkins, these candidates have completed all the requirements of the doctorate degree, and on behalf of the graduate faculty, I recommend that the degree be conferred. Upon the recommendation of the graduate faculty and approval by the Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Troy University and the laws of the state of Alabama, it's a real pleasure for me to confer upon each of you the doctoral degree which you have earned. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. At this time, the graduates will come forward to receive their degrees. Dr. Palmer. Thank you, Dr. Tatum. Will the graduates who have received the bachelor's degree please come forward? Kelly Marie Mack, summa cum laude. Arcavius Ball. Kyle Austin Edwards, cum laude. Savannah Tatum. Marlena Sharice Mitchell. Shaley Smith, magna cum laude. Ashley Boswell. Asia Lene Phillips. Aaron Wilson. Levi Carpenter, summa cum laude. Sarah Gann, cum laude. Brooklyn Taylor Johnson, magna cum laude. Brianna McCrae. Byron Lynn. <laughs> Judith Castro Roldan, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jalea Sierra Dunlap. Tasia Moore. Yes. Jasmine Robinson. Alexis Dye. Jada Hubbard. Autumn Williams. Aaliyah Williams. Jasmine Williams, cum laude.
Narissa Meredith Reese. Alexis Gordon. Danishe Wackoff. Tanisha Wackoff. Brakalen Marshall. Carl Eugene Howard Jr., magna cum laude. Brittany Isabella Faulkner, magna cum laude. Hannah Marie Cooper, summa cum laude. Jalisa Bullock. Andrew David Harless, cum laude. Maya Martin. Kashandra L. Addison. Teresa Gardner, summa cum laude. Megan Boswell, magna cum laude. Blair Bishop, summa cum laude. Vanessa Mitchell. Grayson Elizabeth Gamso. Hunter James Williams, cum laude. Tanya Elizabeth Romero. Corlton Devon Allen. Elizabeth Ruth Rickert. Amber Myers, magna cum laude. Catherine Kratzer, magna cum laude. Manuel Zafra Jimenez, cum laude. Sarah Mountain, magna cum laude. Autumn Anderson, magna cum laude. Sarah Bice, cum laude. Montavia Hunter. Brooke Woolery, magna cum laude.
Colin Michael Willis. Hunter Mabry, magna cum laude. Peyton Bradford, cum laude. Thomas Raymond Tatum. Jordan Turner, summa cum laude. Kaylee Michelle Himes, summa cum laude. Benjamin Hobbs, cum laude. Caitlin Borsi, magna cum laude. Wyatt Alexander Anderson. Dan Johnson, cum laude. Jessica Lynn Vasek, summa cum laude. Grace Ivy Smith, summa cum laude. Consuelo Wallace, cum laude. Sarah Killingsworth, cum laude. Elizabeth Furman. Allie Bayer, magna cum laude. John Stephen Carborn, cum laude. Imari Anderson, cum laude. Iman Anderson, cum laude. Kaylee Elizabeth Jernigan. Woo! Maggie Malloy Doss, magna cum laude. Daughtry Cooper O'Quinn, summa cum laude. Mallory Page Gomillin, magna cum laude. Lisa Stokes, magna cum laude. Alicia Allman, summa cum laude. Kennedy Minner, summa cum laude. Hope Griffin, magna cum laude. Jordan Free. Haven Graham.
Kelsey Trimble, magna cum laude. Macy Weeks, summa cum laude. Logan Cook. Ivy Catherine Helms, summa cum laude. Anna Elizabeth Shaw, magna cum laude. Penny Elizabeth Marie McLinden. Ellen Dunklin, magna cum laude. Lena Benefield, summa cum laude. Nathan Tinney. Thai Huynh, summa cum laude. Hannah Hart, summa cum laude. Charity Floyd, magna cum laude. Katie Morrow, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Christine Whitman, summa cum laude. Susan Marilyn Bush, summa cum laude. Carter Jordan, magna cum laude. Colin Jordan, cum laude. Noah Peavy. Paul Wolf. Mackenzie Martin Heath, summa cum laude. Christopher Druin. Alyssa Skipper, magna cum laude. Anna Rayleigh Horn, magna cum laude. Austin Philip Minor. Nadia Perez, magna cum laude. Savannah Claire Edson Morgan, summa cum laude. Kimberly Grace Crow, magna cum laude. Madison Trantham, magna cum laude. Anna Lafier, summa cum laude. Madison Phipps, summa cum laude. (laughs) 
Erica Williams, magna cum laude. Brittany Jordan. Emily Downs, summa cum laude. Madison Harris, cum laude. Landon DuBose. Nicholas Wills, cum laude. Christy Pitts. Megan Mason. Rolanda Cannon. Cassandra Wadi, cum laude. Abigail Lindsay, cum laude. Madison Griffin, magna cum laude. Fate Kelton. Madison Williams, magna cum laude. Alexis Reed, summa cum laude. Haley Porter, cum laude. Adrienne Smith, summa cum laude. Corley Parrish, Eric Anderson Crenshaw. Khalil Waters. Hannah Sweat, cum laude. Mary Allison Peace, summa cum laude. Janiah Pearl Sandifer. Keandra Reynolds. Ashley Nicole Harris, cum laude. Megan Nicole Cross. Shelby Stevenson. Laura Jean Udy, magna cum laude. Peyton Martin, cum laude. Julia Sasser.
Morgan Thomas, magna cum laude. Sarah Gordon, cum laude. Adele Aldoaji. Jennifer Dunn, magna cum laude. Danae Mackenzie Smith, cum laude. Jordan Noel Lewis. Sonia Derrico. Tay McGarry. Justin Anger, summa cum laude. Andrew Price Watson, cum laude. Ashley Jordan Simmons. Kara Moore, magna cum laude. McKee Walsh, magna cum laude. Janice Elizabeth Bennett. Emily Harris. Laurel Grace Henron, Henson, magna cum laude. Elijah David Benjamin Glick, summa cum laude. Adney Dylan Hurst, magna cum laude. Molly Hampton McMurray, cum laude. Casey Hill, summa cum laude. Anne Parrish Owen. Caitlin Alexis Skatu, cum laude. Kelsey Marie Vinch, cum laude. Taryn Ivy Elizabeth Weeks, cum laude. William Love. Ashlyn Brooke Jackson, summa cum laude. Hannah Cheyenne Hogan. Taylor Bodiford, cum laude. Jade Gates. William Duck.
Amanda Brogdon. Christian Silves Pfeiffer. Relay Rashan Rhodes. Tierra McCall. Lamisha Talley, cum laude. Benjamin Lim Yi Zin. Cameron Peebles, magna cum laude. Nicole Copeland, magna cum laude. Zipporah Jamis Moore, magna cum laude. Amanda Lynn Jones. Morgan James Murray, magna cum laude. Sarah Baker Barnhart, summa cum laude. Kinsey Handley, magna cum laude. Ruth Fiore, cum laude. Megan Brianna Malkmus, summa cum laude. Sarah Waylene Mason, summa cum laude. Blake Lonis, cum laude. Catherine Grace Williams, cum laude. Liliana Taylor Everett, summa cum laude. Tyndall Elizabeth Cunningham. Samuel Granville, magna cum laude. Sarah Sellers Gillis, summa cum laude. Aaliyah Knight, summa cum laude. Morgan Long, summa cum laude. Michaela Marie Wade, cum laude. Brooke Bates, magna cum laude. Anna Cummings, summa cum laude. Travis Carlson, cum laude. Carly Malik, cum laude. Okay. 
Shayna Elizabeth Trumer, summa cum laude. Nikita Jean Ruffolo. Matthew Parnell. Josie D. Moppin. Jessica Prince. Summer Strickland. Nelsie Leverett Newman, magna cum laude. Mahogany Horn. Christiana Marie Young. Ihanto Gao Lanisha Johnson Brianna Hampton, cum laude. Rachel Davis, summa cum laude. Caroline Morgan, summa cum laude. Tehran Stallworth, cum laude. Raven Lucas, cum laude. Okay. Deborah, Deborah Makilla Williams. Catherine Kaiser Olds, cum laude, magna cum laude. Hannah Louise Eccles, summa cum laude. Josh Marvin. Brady Talbert, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Perry, magna cum laude. Rebecca Hedden, magna cum laude. Jalen Ellison Sullivan, cum laude. Taylor Parrott, magna cum laude. Hayden Helms, magna cum laude. Margaret Claire Blackwell. Savannah Wallace Lawrence, cum laude. Madison Legere.
Chrislyn Walker, summa cum laude. Savannah Harless. Jessie Marie Harrell. Lily Elizabeth Warner, cum laude. Joshua Lewis White, magna cum laude. Tia Rhodes. <laughs> Kenrietta Stinson, magna cum laude. Alexandria Chanel Brown, magna cum laude. Samantha Williams, summa cum laude. Rachel Tatiana Youngblood. Tatiana Shante Connor. Maisha Strain, summa cum laude. Brandy Crow. Nathaniel J. Preetz. Tiffany Elise Fault, magna cum laude. Cameron Alexis McGinty, cum laude. Claire Kareen O'Toole, magna cum laude. Carrie Lee Futch, magna cum laude. Emily Grace Fisher. Michaela Marie Smith, cum laude. Takira Lowe. Jalen Brooks. Sterling Heron. Emily Johnson, summa cum laude. Emily Lauren Vallis, summa cum laude. Ray Ann Dobler, summa cum laude. Scout Meninwa, summa cum laude. Holly Keys, summa cum laude. Claire Vaughn. Thomas Brandon Perry.
Jordan Kaylee Sides, cum laude. Mackenzie Ann Daly, cum laude. Martavius Jinyard. Caitlin Rebecca Say. Kayla Adams, cum laude. Selena Bunyavon. Inja Gordon. Stuart Bradley, cum laude. Christina Nicole Stone, summa cum laude. Carla Cornelson, cum laude. Abigail Elaine McMullen, magna cum laude. Hannah Grace Griffith, summa cum laude. Ashley Elizabeth Talbert. William James Diao. Katie Cook. Christopher Robinson. Hunter Nicole Gerard, cum laude. Jacob Allen Boyce, summa cum laude. Ebony Tansia Tanisha Allen. Ji Anzun Ni Bickley Bell. Jade Adams Blocker. Yanis Wheatley. Aaron Marquise Ferguson. Jonathan Lewis Eccles, Jr. Taylor Tillman, cum laude. Aubria V. Goodwin. Crystal Mansfield McCraney. Gab Gabriella Nakeda Priotio. Gabriel Austin Carter Williams. Yeah. 
Taylor Elise Hunter, summa cum laude. Ashton Taylor Selka, magna cum laude. Taylor Brunson, magna cum laude. Tierra Kaylee Bell. Jade Denise Jones. Michaela Ferguson, cum laude. Kristen Humphreys. TJ Gibson. Natalie McKenzie Odgers, cum laude. Bailey Ann Mabry. Jacqueline McKenna Young. Will the graduates who have earned a master's in education specialist degrees please come forward. Victoria Elaine Broadhurst. Rachel Joe Arnold. Emily Shira Collings. Natalia Boyd. Michelle Elizabeth Moore. David Austin Deneath. Kiara Bailey Barrett. Vicki Ivy Childs. William Cole. Sarah Elise Dowdy. Josie Free. Lauren Knight. Miranda Bailey Brown. Doreen Vanessa Ford. Quamicia Carter. Amara Ham. Diana Sendevsky. Yeah. 
Rachel Nicole Nygaard. Melissa Posey. Latika Johnson. Jocelyn Ratasha Johnson. Julissa Nicole Armstrong. Kendra Lee Flanagan. Shad Al Sharif. Catherine Holland Bunnell. Sherry Elizabeth Taylor. Amanda Barnes Granger. Faith Yvette Bryant. Adam David Prendergast. June Washington Sanders. Randy Keck. Drew Montgomery. Morgan Williams Bennett. Desiree Statler. Cornell Franklin. Lindsay Seelan. Georgiana Fellman. Kelvin Wayne Pless. Summer Melillo. Haley Marie Hodge. Will the graduates who have earned the doctoral degree please come forward? Sonia Melissa Curtis. Frederick J. Prosser. Alexis Javon Suttles. <laughs> Caroline Sheila Lucario. Jennifer 
Ann Muhammad. Vanita Robertson. <laughs> Tiffany Palmer. Dr. Hawkins, leaders, graduates, and distinguished guests, it is both an honor and a privilege to be a part of this commencement this morning and introduce a fine group of young men and women standing before you. These future leaders have not only met the requirements for the respective degree programs, but they have also completed the professional military education requirements and commissioning as second lieutenants in the United States Air Force and the Army as directed by the President of the United States based on authority granted to him by the U.S. Constitution. The first one is Benjamin Hobbs from Highland Home, Alabama. <laughs> Graduating with a degree in psychology, he is an armor officer. His first unit of assignment will be Fort Benning, Georgia. The second is Carl Howard. He is from Harvest, Alabama, graduating with a degree in communications arts. He will be a transportation corps officer. His first unit of assignment will be Fort Deposit, Alabama. Amanda Page Hill. From Houston, Texas. Amanda actually finished up her degree and a bachelor's degree last summer, but she's working on her master's degree in exercise science. She's going to be a cyberspace officer heading to Keesler Air Force Base for training. Christopher Germain Watt Robinson. From Linden, Alabama. Bat bachelor's of Science in Human Services. Give me a force support officer. First station is Moody Air Force Base, Valdosta, Georgia. As volunteers today, these graduates enter a unique profession that requires specialized expertise, commitment, and sacrifices. A profession that entrusts these graduates with responsibilities of preserving the U.S. national security a profession that asks more of its members than any other profession. No matter what branch, what job, what rank or status, all service members belong to the profession of arms. And as professionals are expected to hold the highest standards and guided by our service core values. As we sit here today, less than 0.5% of the U.S. population serves in the U.S. military. And these leaders have stepped up to be a part of that group. So it's a great honor that I present to you Troy University's newest and future Army and Air Force Second Lieutenants. As is customary and keeping with the highest traditions of military service, these future leaders, military leaders, will render salutes of respect and appreciation to Dr. Hawkins, the presiding official over today's ceremony. And secondly, 
to fellow graduates and guests who represent the American citizens we've sworn to protect and defend. Thank you very much. Let's congratulate again all of our graduates today. We invite your participation in singing of the alma mater, which is on the bottom of page four in your program. The alma mater will be sung by Dr. Thaddeus Bourne, followed by the benediction offered by Ms. Bailey Bennett. Please remain in your seats for the recessional until the platform party and graduates have left the arena. Let us pray. As we celebrate this monumental moment in all of the graduates' lives, I would also like to th say thank you, Lord. Thank you for each of the graduates, thank you for their accomplishments, and thank you for those who have helped this dream become a reality for so many. As you leave Troy, I pray that you all feel confident in your degree, in your knowledge, and in yourself, and are eager for this new chapter to begin. I pray for each of the graduates' safety and happiness during this new season, and I ask, Lord, that you will continue to light their paths both now and for years to come and continue guarding their hearts as well. We love you and we pray in your name. Amen.